So I'm going to go ahead and open up my assembly here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, new part and just call it something, put it in my desktop. And I'm just going to leave the file empty because I'm going to make that my work file. And I'm going to go ahead and import some, some file that was sent to me. So I have a step file. So I'll grab 203, go to the directory that it was saved in, and import that guy in. It may take a few seconds here. OK, and I'm just going to go ahead and hide this. So now I have my part, and if I look at the uh, part navigator, it's a body, so there's no feature history to this, this solid. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that down next to this. And I can see that it's not actually showing in my assembly, so because I have the two different windows open, my active window is my dust shield. I'm going to go back to my assembly, and I'm going to make sure that I have the right reference set. And if you just drag out your assembly navigator, you're going to see that the reference set is set to part, and there's probably nothing inside of that. So I'm going to switch it to model. So I do see it on my assembly there. All right. And just to make this a little clearer on what I'm working on, I'm going to go ahead and just isolate just some objects in here that I want to look at and change the colors of it because they're, they're both exactly the same and kind of hard to see for some people. All right. So now that I've got my part in there, I'm going to interrogate a little bit and see what's going on. Um, this was an off-the-shelf dust shield from a supplier that they think may work for my uh, particular assembly. And I do see the assembly mounting holes do mount up. I do have a uh, alignment hole that's a little bit off. I don't know what that is. I probably don't need it. And I want to change that opening there. So as I'm spinning it around, taking a look at it, I see there's a gap in here. I got a little bit of an interference there. So how would I typically in the past go about changing that part? I would probably build some sort of sketch, chunk out a section of that, put in some new features to build that, that uh, angle. But with synchronous, I'm going to go ahead and just move this over a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, let me grab some information here about this radius. So if you are not aware of the new measuring command, I don't have to select anything. I could just hover over it, and I'll get a dial window that'll pop open. It'll tell me that my radius is 12 millimeters with a length of 11.1275. So I just want to really see what that radius is. So since this is my active window, I'm going to go back to home. And here's my synchronous uh, uh, group on my ribbon bar, and as you can see, I have a more. Now, if you don't have the more on your ribbon bar, what you can do easily and quickly is go over to your roles. And under content, I'm just gonna switch to essential so you can see what that looks like. Maybe some of you have that when you do start NX. So now if I look at my synchronous uh, group there, I don't have the more option. I can go ahead and customize it and build it into my user ID, but I'm just gonna show you it is still there. Then that little arrow roll down, and you'll find that in a bunch of places on the ribbon bar. Come down to the more gallery, and depending on the gallery that I want to work from, I will see the edit, radiant, pull. Those were my most recent. There's my dimension gallery, detail, reuse, and so on. And then I would just basically select that option. A little cumbersome, so I'm going to go back to the advanced role. So I get the more, and I get everything. So just a, just a little tip there. All right, so I'm going to delete that radius that's in there. And the way Siemens has uh, organized this, this group is they put the icons on there that you might use the most often. And Move does a lot of stuff for you. So I'm going to select Delete. And if you get a window that opens up and you don't have everything you see here on the screen, if I just hit that little gear, there's less, and I don't see my settings there anymore. So within a lot of the dialogues that you see inside of NX, you do have to make sure that more is turned on in order to see everything. So under my settings, I'm going to turn off heal because I just want to show you what's going to happen when I delete that radius in there. 
And if I zoom inside of this guy, I can see that, oh geez, I've just deleted just the surface. So now my whole body is a bunch of sheet bodies that I will probably have to go back in and build a surface in there and sew it all back together. Not what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. Or I could just shift, hold the shift key and deselect that, that surface and, and change it. So I'm gonna turn on heel, go ahead and hit okay. And now I, I've got my sharp corner back in there, deleted the radius altogether. So jumping back into the more gallery, I'm gonna try and figure out, all right, I need to change the angle of the surface because it's crashing into my knuckle of that arm that holds my uh, tire together. And I'm gonna use angular dimension. Now, if you're uh, not aware of NX, you do have to pay attention to your selection option. I'm gonna go ahead and make the mistake right now and just pick, uh, I don't know, that edge and that edge. So I could see the arrow is pointing to the left. And what will happen there is the angle on that bottom face is going to change. So let's go ahead and do that. I can type in a dimension where I got that little grip ball there. It's a little blue one there on the screen. And if I drag it, I can see that it's moving my part. Not what I wanted to do there. So I'm gonna just undo that. And I'm just gonna make sure in my tree that I just have my delete face. So go back in, angle dimension, and this time I'll select reverse. That makes sense. And then drag it to a number that makes sense, or I can go ahead and type it in. It, it's really a preference. And go ahead and hit OK. I'm gonna go back over to this window to spin it around, and I can see that I'm now clear. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. And I can put the radius back in just using typical edge blend. I'm gonna make it 12 and just add it back into that. So very quickly, I've, I was able to modify that edge using an angular dimension to get it out of the way of my knuckle in my assembly. I'm gonna fit that, just pull this menu or bar over just a little bit so I can see my other area that I need to pay.